refusal to be dependent. Are you guys dependable? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Are you dependable? Are you reliable? Of course, the cards are 
Now I know it. Now I have to do this. Mattresses don't sound heavy, right? So there's 26 of these mattresses. <laughs> and I'm one guy. Alright, and I have to retie this thing. So I'm holding up the mattress, running around, throwing it. <laughs> trying to, trying to put this yeah. thing on. But the point that I'm making is, <coughs> I wasn't thinking, I assumed that things would be right without me checking them. But I didn't want to drop the mattresses. I'm dependable. I want to get the mattresses. Yeah, you guys need them. So my drive is like to make sure they don't get there. So I do what I can to get there. Because that's reliable thinking. You know what I'm not going to drive and say, oh, I'm going to try this crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we all have the best intentions and we all want to do this kind of things and we want to be the someone who someone depends on. You want to be the de someone who depends on. But we, in our histories, depended on drugs. Yeah, other people. Drugs, drugs are amazing. Drugs. The plaster, as used to say, addict. <laughs> <laughs> he used to do that a lot, he goes, addict. <laughs> Just a cost. Mm -hmm. I've got some stuff here which uh, we all want reliable things. We all want reliable cars. We want reliable, you know, delivery on mail. We want delivery on our investments. We have reliable cell phone service. We want, we want all these things. But what have you done, man? You want your best flipping recoveries. You want me to say the best things. You. Want everybody stands in front of you to say the best things to change your life, but it's your responsibility to take it in, man. People are depending on you while you're here <coughs> to finish what you start. That's where it starts. On a phone call, listen, uh, yeah, it's tough. Uh, I'm coming out in four months, just fetch me in four months. Just don't listen, I can't talk. Don't talk, don't talk. But never a guy, I thought you was a story about that, yes. We had a guy, yeah. And, uh, yes. Yeah. He, uh, I was lucky enough, I was just standing over here, and the phone was waiting there. And, uh, he took the phone and says, Oh, I just want to.
boys, they most of them they pick themselves up. There's, there's nothing for you to be open, vulnerable. If you're battling with something, say it. Can't hide these feelings, swallow these feelings, making out you're okay all the time. You've done that enough. That's the first thing people in addiction do that they should. You're struggling. I don't know. If it's just, uh, but it's not just the people in addiction. It's a, it's a whole lot of things. It's a whole lot of people. They don't ask for help, and so they try to lead on the understanding. And you guys know where that goes. Sorry. Okay, so. I know. I'm stop. Sorry. Horrible. I know. You're such unreliable guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching that thing. <coughs>
Well, the first guy to arrive at a party and then the last guy to leave. It's <laughs> probably off to leave. Huh? Sorry. Like. <laughs> <laughs> 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Go home. No, why? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be proud of. Nothing to be proud of. And funny enough, the, I want to, I not even my two friends, but the people that I used to do drugs with, I want to impress them the most. I want to, I want them to rely on me. And that's wrong. For people that really matter, I don't give anything. <coughs> I told him this weekend, I uh, said, uh, I said cup for something, sorry, the viewers. <laughs> uh, I said cup for something, she says, uh, she, uh, she just shakes it and she's like, it's only more, I took a flute and I said, yeah, I said, yes, I can sit in a room, and then I'll go and say, no, I'm busy with God's work. That a lot of you put pressure on yourselves yeah, just to, to, to flip and make sure you do your best and everything's flipping awesome and flipping can't have extras and can't go through life with this and that and this and that. It's been done. People they sat in these chairs and they're living a flipping successful, wonderful life. <coughs> and this is not your life. It's Christmas season. You're not being rehab forever, maybe some of you will be rehab. Yeah. <laughs> some of you take longer than others. Some of you are more stubborn than others. Yeah. 
That's why there's no willing to do it. But you guys don't seem to understand the concept. There's no willing and dealing. Blessing is a different story. But I give, if I give you something, I don't bless you. The Bible says if you bless someone, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. You know what that means? It means if you bless someone, they won't even know it's from you. You will give in secret, will be blessed in secret by Jesus. a very beautiful verse that actually carries on by saying who sees in secret which is the source of so just integrity the thing is if you can't the Bible also says those who can be trusted with little can be trusted with much <coughs> you want to know why you don't have much? because you can't be trusted with little it's quite <laughs> And that's a principle. If you don't do the Bible, those who can be trusted with little can be trusted. And that works in anything. That works in small little rules like you don't like the wheeling and dealing thing, or you feel that you can give because it's my money. It's not your money, your mom paid it. <laughs> You're not working here. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you, you're not earning an income all year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe some of you have some offshore investment. Yeah. Shady deals. <laughs> Shady yeah, yeah, yeah. business. Do <laughs> 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 you remember that? Scrap legal. <laughs> anyway. Um share, make an answer, others false. Accept that everyone is vulnerable in some ways, at some time. We are so quick to point fingers at people. So, so quick. And there was so much I wanted to tell my brother and my mother. There was so, so much I wanted to tell them. I know it wasn't the platform to. Even though I know a lot of things and uh, I... I I'm on my way to run. not an established Egyptian, but to uh, know more about it. You know, God has revealed amazing things to me. And I'm surrounded by these fantastic mentors of mine, which actually guide me, which is grateful. But I know that it will hurt the relationship if I correct them. What's more important to me, being right or their relationship? Yes. So I act accordingly. I protect our relationship. I'm going there. Yeah. <laughs> so here's some stuff like um, people inherently value reliability. A few facts every day we value. Reliable cars that save time and money on repairs. Reliable mail that gets delivered to you on time. Investments, cell phones, vendors, airlines. Yeah. Everybody when you get into a plane or you, or you, I don't even think they're both going to crash. Do you? No. I don't. Get on the phone and think, ooh, going down, it's not. But if someone gets in your plane, <laughs> where's it going to go? <laughs> 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 the doors are locked, they're with it outside, hey! <laughs> Just 
But that's how we speak. Mm. The Bible says, let your yes be yes, and you know we know. Listen, uh, I'll, I'll help you, but listen, I've got some other stuff I have to do first, and then uh, I'll get back to you, and then, you know, maybe we can meet up somewhere in the week next week. I don't know, I'll just have to check first, but I don't know, maybe sure, I don't know. Check it out. <laughs> I'm more confused. I just want to yes or no. You don't have always have to say yes. You know, a no, a no to someone else means a yes to yourself. If you tell someone no, it means like, ah, oh, put me first. Okay, people use uh, discretion when they make promises to others. However, most people tend to slip on their commitments because they overestimate their available free time and want to please others. So, the more or less... What? Write down this question. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. I want to see pens. Do it, guys. Let's be here. Hey? Are you still young, woman? Yeah. <laughs> what is my priority? No. What do I want to learn while I'm here? Can I find a bacon sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two, uh, communicate. Be open. Be open. Jacques, uh, uh, listen, I have this thing to do. Can you help me with it? Yes, I can help you with it, but I must do this and this and this. No. Jacques, can you help me with this? Yes. What do you need from me? Oh, carry on. No, I can't. Okay, I'll carry on. Don't involve yourself in things that's going to make you fail or even look bad. Because at the moment, you guys look pretty bad. You know, I don't mean that like in an ugly way. It's just, if you're sitting in these chairs, Mark, you make that. <laughs> Your mom set up on set. <laughs> <laughs> Finish what you start. Ne? Yeah. Finish what you start. Yes. If you can just, if you, if you got a revelation of just that, just finish what you start. Everything that you tackle from this day will teach you not to give up. We speak about not giving up so many times there. We do preachings and teachings and all these kind of things about it. Because the thing is, if you don't push through, you won't achieve anything. You know, I don't know if most of you guys know who Jordan B. Peterson is. But Jordan B. Peterson is a professional uh, professor in psychology. He's very, 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 very smart and very clear. He says, he speaks about people with depression. He says, people with depression, first of all, people commit suicide under depression and those kind of things, there's kind of spirit behind it. But uh, first of all, help them with medication and those kind of things, because if, if they're dead, you can't help them. And so he starts. Then he says, the reason why most people are depressed is because they don't set themselves any goals. They don't have any purpose. You know what? They feel the <coughs> They don't achieve anything. <coughs> they have no purpose to go. If I, I complete no tasks, so I, my, my self worth deteriorates, so I don't feel any self worth about myself. Because I don't achieve anything. I've got nothing that drives me. That's why Mongo says wake up and brush your teeth and be glad that you brushed your teeth in the morning. 
you don't have purpose on achieving things in your life, you'll be depressed because you don't achieve anything. I don't have anything because I don't work for anything. It's not the other way around. If you work on anything, you'll have something. But if I sit on my chair all day and worry about, oh, I'm so depressed, blah, blah, blah. guess what? I'm going to be so depressed. I remember the times, I told you guys before, I had all my guns on the bed, contemplating which one to shoot myself with. I've had enough of this life, things are bad. But for a year I've done nothing, Rue. I had no purpose. I thought that was the end. That was done. I can't carry on anymore. Yes. Drugs lead you down that road. It's a lot of this stuff for addiction and drugs are such bad things because they give you things that you, you never had. Bad things. Like depression, anxiety, fear. No self-esteem, no self-worth. All from the devil. <laughs> so, set yourself little goals. Achieve them. And as you do that, you become dependable and trustworthy. You become relying on yourself again, because now at the moment you're relying on other people. Someone can depend on you. And you have kids and family and things that really need you. But they need you whole. They need you whole. Value your values. Be truthful. Respect time and others. Excuses to blame others. Keep the commitment that you make. I'm going to hire and never think or anything. I was like, I'm going to go to rehab tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow comes around and drags my boat. Not going. Now that you're sober and you're here, make the decision to be here.